hey guys welcome back to my channel and happy new year i know in february i should be covering my face right now but i always say to myself at what point in the year do you stop saying happy new year because some people say happy new year to april like are you kidding me but i kind of say you can say happy new year the first time you're communicating with someone the first time you're meeting someone or the first time you're talking to someone even in the year and this is my first time on the channel this year and that's why i'm saying happy new year to you guys i hope 2022 has been going on well so far um i want to say thank you to everyone that has been supporting this channel from inception to birth now they were a toddler just kidding so i just want to say thank you so much to everyone that's been supporting this channel since the channel started i really appreciate each and every one of you and i do not take it for granted i don't say thank you to those that will be joining this year i want to say you're welcome even in advance and um i want to say thank you to even to those that haven't subscribed yet because i know you probably enjoy watching and that's why you keep watching okay so this month is special to this channel why because it's the month that the channel started this channel started in february and um it's thinking back i'm just grateful to god that i started it because i believe it's been blessing people and i know that it would continually bless people so uh for that i want to ask i see we're about like close to 200 subscribers so if we can kind of up that to 200 subscribers this year for our birthday anniversary like right? it's not too bad right and maybe we can cut cake and things like that but just kidding but i just want to say thank you so much and before i put videos out i just thought to come on here wish everyone happy new year i pray that this 2022 will be a great year for us all and i pray that we would achieve even our goals beyond our expectations in jesus name um yeah just keep watching if there's anything you like me to know in the comment section i will just be looking out for it any videos you want to see and things like that till my next video bye guys hi everyone today i'll be showing you how i make my spicy pomo and gizzard pepper sauce obviously i'll need some pomo some gizzard and i'll need my peppers here yeah, have tomatoes bell peppers scotch bonnets and onions as well and i'll be using ginger garlic blend with all my seasoning right here i pretty much use everything i find white pepper black pepper thyme garlic powder you just name it i also would be using canola oil chicken broth mix as well as salt So to start this process, I would be chopping my pomo and you can cook your pomo without chopping it. But because I know I want it in sizes that I could bite right off, so that's why I'm chopping it. I'm going to boil the pomo and giza together and why separate them like they're going to be in the sauce together so we're just gonna boil them together so I'm just slicing onions for seasoning and I'm going to be using every other seasoning I already mentioned to season this pomo and giza
now i'm just adding enough water for the pomo and giza to boil till they're just a little bit soft i love it when they're still crunchy even in the pepper sauce so not too soft i'm just checking it and as you can see it is boiling just making sure that it is cooking well and it's not too soft yet giving it a stir and making sure that it's not burning as well and just making sure everything is going on well getting ready for the pepper sauce you know what i mean so um you can cook this for about 30 minutes just make sure that it's not too soft and now i'm gonna drain it because i don't need all those excess water when you think about it i can use the stock later if i wish but i'm just gonna drain everything right now and get ready to make the sauce i'm going to start the pepper sauce by putting some oil in the pot and let it eat up till i can add my pepper mix. And yes, I'm extra. I just made sure you guys had to listen to that sizzling sound of the pepper going into the oil. I love that sound and I'm like, I'm not going to mute this for you guys. You guys have to listen. Now I'm just adding the broth mix from the pomo and giza that already boiled before. Now I'm adding seasoning. Exact same seasoning, nothing added, nothing subtracted because I just like to keep it simple. Okay. Just gonna add everything and let the pepper cook for about 25 minutes just because I want the pepper to be a little bit dry as well. After adding all the seasoning, I'm, I'm gonna give it a stir. Make sure it's all stirred in and let it cook for 25 minutes there about now the pepper is cooked and i'm just gonna add the pomo and giza and to be honest that's it just let it simmer for about five minutes give it a good stir make sure the pepper goes in well and this tastes so good it's a recipe that i would always try again it goes with everything it goes with rice noodles potatoes yam like just name it it just helps enhance whatever meal you're gonna have it with if you enjoyed watching this i want to say thank you so much for watching if you watch to the end also thank you so much and don't forget to leave a comment subscribe share with a friend and yeah try this recipe if you ever try send me a picture send me a video let me know you tried it let me know anything you did different and i'll see you guys even in the next one and because i live in a wonderful household this has to be tasted immediately because while it's hot why wait we can't waste time so i'm just serving it for a couple of people to taste to tell me how it taste and if it's good and if it's something that they would like me to make again so that's what i'm just doing here and i ended up serving it in a bowl and garnishing it with some onions as well and that tasted good too so i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys